Eight. Some gentle roll coming in here, but with no big storms out in the Pacific, nothing huge on the way in terms of the wave forecast, but site specific forecasts available for free from us at KSBY.com. Be on KSBY photos today. I'll tell you what, Bald Eagle always looks good. Rick Evans on patrol today, and he captured that for us and shared it on my Facebook fan page. And Michelle Sherman always taking great pictures again out at the rock today. Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Most of these pictures come in at TV Dave Hovde on Facebook. That's my fan page there, but I'm also at TV Dave on Twitter and David Hovde on Instagram. So friend and fan up while you're there. This is the big headline today across the state of California. Last week I shared with you we had a huge growth in this abnormally dry area. Well, now we've officially returned to drought status. According to the U.S. Drought Monitor, this portion mostly off just into the Sierra and some of the adjoining counties here, Kern, uh, Fresno, Kings, Tulare County, part of this drought that's expanding. So 9.6% of the state in the drought, 46% abnormally dry. And if you look at the total number in the state, just having designations that rose 12% week to week. The eight to 14 day we shared this yesterday does not look good. So that drought will grow as we approach the mid to latter portion of the month. Morning lows this morning, chilly in Paso Robles 31, 34 in Cuyama, but note how many of the numbers were in the 40s. Morro Bay mid 40s, Santa Maria mid 40s overnight, and the daytime highs today did rather well. 65 Santa Maria and San Luis Obispo, 68 Paso, 67 in Cuyama, Morro Bay 57, 66 in Cal Poly. What was the big difference day to day? The marine layer, we had it last night at the coast and it was slow to clear this morning. It held up the overnight lows and brought down the daytime highs a little bit. Taking a look at the numbers currently, 56 in San Luis, 55 Atascadero, 63 Forest in Paso Robles, 57 Los Osos, 55 in Pismo, 54 in Lompoc, 57 in Santa Barbara. The winds currently 12 miles per hour in San Luis Obispo, 4 at Santa Inez. And if we're looking out into the weekend, looking pretty good at the beaches, temperatures in the 60s, coastal valleys, upper 60s, inland valleys, mid and upper 60s for the upcoming weekend. And tomorrow, I think we'll feel very much like what we're looking forward, moving forward. So yeah, there's some marine layer just off the coast, some patches trying to get reformed here at the immediate beaches. The overall pattern is pretty complex. We have an area of low pressure and a cold front moving into Northern California, but this will fall apart on arrival here at the Central Coast. So tomorrow, not particularly windy, very similar to today in terms of overnight clouds and afternoon clearing. There's a big plunge of cold air across the plains, causing quite a bit of cool temperatures there. But once this front passes, high pressure will build in for the upcoming weekend and temperatures actually look pretty good. National forecast this big front moved past the East Coast, so cold air, like I said, spilling in Chicago, just 17 in my forecast for tomorrow, 18 in Minneapolis, 31 in St. Louis, 51 in Dallas across the West. You're looking at 49 in Seattle, 64 in the capital, 66 in San Diego and closer to home. Again, the overnight lows a little bit cooler in the interior, near freezing or at freezing in Paso Robles. Santa Barbara, though, look at the overnight low, 50 degrees back up to 68 tomorrow. San Luis, 68. Cuyama, 64. 68 Santanez, 67 Carpinteria, 66 in Orchid. Five cities, low to mid 60s. Again, I do think we're going to see some low clouds forming up later on tonight and early in the morning, but we'll clear like today, but really pleasant numbers. The issue is we've just had so much pleasant weather. Can't find anything in the five day, can't find anything in the seven day in terms of optimism about rain. Some computer models are suggesting maybe March we get a turn to more active weather, but again, that's quite a ways down the road.